you guys, my name is Buzz5 here again. What we're going to be doing is doing a totally different video, uh, similar to uh, our gun videos as we have here. What I have here today is basically a Bear Creek Ar uh, Upper Arsenal uh, 5.56 16-inch uh, one eighth twist barrel. Uh, we were going to be doing a little bit of a review on some of the uppers that I ordered. And basically what we have, I literally threw some flip-up, really nice sights on there. Haven't ever shot either one of these specific uppers yet. Uh, we are going to probably uh, get these going in the future eventually. But we're going to uh, show you kind of what I had my first impressions and just kind of my ideas on what these would do. So these are just stock parts. The only difference I really did was write the numbers, the 5.56 down there in case if I was to throw a blackout on my lower um, eventually so I don't accidentally put the wrong bullet in the wrong chamber. This is the same thing, 5.56, five, except it's a 1 8th twist, no, 1 7th twist, that was 1 8th, this one's a 1 7th, a different muzzle brake on it, uh, same rail sort of deal, aluminum, uh, same 5.5 five, um, number on there that I wrote, that way you don't mix up. Uh, what is the problem with this? Well, first off, I can't accept a crooked aligned uh, barrel with your rail. How does that happen? Was it my problem? Nope, it was not my problem. When I got this, I looked at it on my like, what, 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 what is this just one that I mean, how do you mess up a $270? By the way, these are $270 uh, each for every single one of these. And I go, this must have been once out of a million that they would do this. I've seen a lot of videos on good Red Creek Arsenals. Um, I took it apart, tried to see if I could align, align something back again. If you have any ideas how I could really cite, I mean not cite this in, how I could like alignment, that way we could cite this uh, pretty well. This was the first one. I thought, you know what, I don't need a 1 8 twist. That'll just be my speed shooting gun, you know, kind of blink around sort of deal. Well, you don't want to get way too cheap up uppers, in my opinion. I haven't shot a whole lot of air routines, by the way. If you have any ideas how to fix this, this is just not unacceptable, people. I, I mean, for future preferences, you really, really cannot go wrong uh, with getting a good upper. This is the um, the other one. This was actually not a 5.5. Five. These are both blackout. This one's a single blackout. Uh, one, eight, one eighth twist. I keep mixing up. Um, and this was the um, one seventh with a crooked uh, alignment one. But this one is a one eighth twist, um, a 5.56. Five, upper 16 inch barrel as well but then I just threw some iron sights like I said um, but you know I mean can't go wrong with those uh, I just kind of temporarily put them I might have put them in the wrong place because the only difference is um, with this one uh, it doesn't really have any necessarily major issues it's just uh, they kind of don't exactly line up their back piece with the rail I don't know if that's just kind of the Jeep manufacturing version of it otherwise I couldn't slide this all the way back so basically what I did was I'm like, you know what, I'm going to have to take all the eight, eight uh, screws out there. And I'm like, well, I guess that's just kind of something that I have to learn. Uh, so yeah, we'll be getting these going pretty soon. Uh, not necessarily in the future really quick, but eventually sometime. Um, so yeah, those are my first impressions. If you have any ideas on how that crooked upper was ever manufactured, maybe it was just once in a million, like I said. Uh, this is the blackout I keep mixing up. These two are the 5.5's five uppers. And another thing is if you're ever going to buy one of these, make sure if you have, let's say, your uh, dust cover, if that pin is too long, just leave it. It will basically um, get stuck in the top, okay, because my other, the other one that we had um, basically my brother's it's not right here right now but uh, the pin the little knob right there to hold this closed was too long so I might have pushed it down with some pliers just standard pliers and it doesn't come back up so we're like you know what that's not necessarily a giant issue but you cannot go wrong necessarily with you know a hit and miss sort of $270 upper 16 inch in my opinion so you know what? I mean, that's what it is. I mean, if that's what you need to hear for the viewers, if you're looking to have uh, the pros and cons necessarily of these. I haven't shot either one of these specific uh, 
uppers necessarily just yet, but we would like to see how they perform. Uh, and let me know what you would like to see uh, in the air gun uh, versions of our video on our channel. I'm Midwest Boys 5. We'll see you next time.